RTV12A high powered vented subwoofer enclosure Rockbill 12. That just rolls off the tongue, don't it? Um, it's a active subwoofer, I guess, so to speak. It's a base tube, but it's not a bazooka. Um, there's some pros and cons already, and that was right when I. It's, it's not my subwoofer, I borrowed it, you know, to do this video. He watches, so thank you. Now, Rockville, they CEA rate their, all their stuff, so you'll get your max rating right on it, and then you'll get your RMS rating, and then they'll also CEA rate it. If you're going to go to that extreme to CEA, CEA rate something, why don't you just put the CEA rating on it? But all their stuff has their max rating on it. And come on, guys. I mean, if, if you're going to go to that extreme to test, I mean, they test all their equipment. They test everything. In a sense, they make a good product. So don't push Rockville too much to the side. I own a Rockville 12. It's a 400 RMS, but CEA, it's 250. I put 500 watts on that, drove all the way to Miami and back. That bitch pounded all the way there and it still works. I had that thing in my car for by about two months before I bought a different speaker. So definitely, they, they do make a good product. So <laughs> here it is. And let me show you the pros and the cons. Okay, so here's the built-in amplifier that's on the back of the tube. It's vented. Oh, I'm sorry. It's vented right here. You can't see the speaker from here, but... But if you look at the rating on here, it's a 20 amp fuse. So, you know, 200 watts RMS, maybe, maybe 150, 8 gauge power ground remote, which, you know, I hate this style. They look clean, but I just hate this turn down thing. And then your gain, low pass filter, bass boost. I do like these inputs, the Tiffany style. Those are, I, I love these. Every amp should come with these. Remote and then high level input. You don't have these. Here's my biggest gripe about this thing. And then I have a different gripe about it. My biggest gripe is, here it is. What's missing? What is missing? What is missing? There's no way to lay it down and it stay stationary. There's no feet. Like the bazooka tube has this thing on the top where that's the port and you just lay it onto the port and it just stays there. This has nothing unless I borrowed it and he didn't give me the brackets for it, but I don't I don't know why you would want this rolling around in your trunk. I don't get it. And the other one, the other gripe I have, how am I supposed to get to the speaker wire if, you know, to, to put my leads on there to find out where this amp distorts? I can't. So basically, when I put it in the car to test bump it, I'm going to have to do it by ear. Put it on 40 hertz, and then you turn it up until you hear it distort, and then you turn it back. I mean, it's as easy as that, but I like using my detector because it gives me an accurate reading. Because sometimes if you turn the gain up and do that, you can't turn the bass boost up. If you turn the gain up, and then it, so let's say it maxes out, and the distortion detector doesn't show distortion, you can bump up the, the boost. So I, I like using the detector. It gives me more of an accurate reading. Well, so let's see if this thing bumps. I'm in the Camry. We are going to hear Cash Cash featuring Buster Rhymes, Neon Hitch, to shit. It's alright. I think this would be better for like a hatchback or a small SUV. The person that I borrowed it from, it was in a small SUV and he said it sounded really good. And I guess I could see that because it it is hitting specific notes and and it's it's actually doing well you just can't hear it that's what sucks about doing bass videos I could see it hitting in the truck or in a small SUV or like a crossover but in here with the seats I mean I have the seat down I guess I can put the other one down but it it's just not I've got way too much stuff before the bass carries this way so I mean that sucks but I guess I could see how it would sound good it's still cool I mean again I'm not a fan of bazooka tubes whatever is what it is be well bass on